Boris Johnson has just had his massive cabinet reshuffle and a lot of ministers have been sacked and there's impacts happening for all of us as investors and developers and I want to share with you in this video what the impacts are and how you can utilize the opportunities that are in the market right now by what's just happened. So the housing minister specifically has gone um, so uh, Robert Jenrick is gone and what we now have is a new minister in his place Michael Gove. So what are the implications? Let's discuss. Now, if you're joining me here for the first time, my name is Cameron Devady. I'm an investor developer of the last 30 years and uh, literally active right now. So let's discuss what we can move forward with and how you can actually do this, what you can actually do in the market right now. So firstly, there is the local housing allowance that's actually working for you in your favor. So the benefit system where literally the government are really paying your tenant who are paying you which means that what you've got is a long-term bond. So when investors out there say they can't rent their properties and so on, we can always fall back on the local housing allowance system, which in my view is going to be there continuing. And to be fair, the fact is that it's actually growing. In fact, I've got some data here which my team have just assessed this morning. And when it comes to local housing allowance, one bedroom shared houses have gone up by 15% in rental income uh, that you can actually achieve. So the rents have gone up by an extra 15%. And when it comes to one bedroom houses, that's a 12% increase. Uh, and that's literally from the last year to this year. Then um, two bedrooms by 11% and three bedroom houses have gone up by 13% and four bedrooms by a massive 14% increase in rental. Now, when you think about this, there are some massive op opportunities moving forward in property. So if you're starting in property or if you're thinking about scaling in property, my view is now's the time to actually do this. And uh, what I'm hearing on the grapevine, Michael Gove, you know, that is going to continue. Local housing allowance is going to be continuing. So you can always, no matter where you are in the country, have that fallback of knowing that the local housing allowance system is working for you. Hopefully I'm making sense here for you. And the second point I want to share with you, which is really happening uh, for you right now, a massive opportunity, is the changes in the use class order system. So uh, I'm going to discuss this right now. The use class order system, permit development rights and development opportunities that are here for you right now. And if you're watching this right now and you're taking all of this in and you're not part of our community, well, you know, welcome to our community. You're welcome to subscribe here. There is that bell icon, uh, as you're aware. So just click on that and uh, we'd love you to be part of our community. Um, and like what I say, um, I'm just an investor developer. Uh, however, I love sharing info, which is what we're doing here right now this morning. So feel free to click on that button. So let's move forward and discuss these opportunities. Now, the use class order system, which came into place uh, with massive changes in September 2020, where you can literally repurpose certain types of tenant profiles in your commercial properties without having to go through the planning process. So what I'm discussing here specifically is the use class order changes, class E. So class E is there for you where you have every property designated with a, a use class and class E means that you have a number of properties in different types of categories which now have been amalgamated into this class E. So for example a retail which used to be a class A1 is now into the class E. Um, an A3 which was a restaurant is also now a class E. So prior to September 2020 you would have had to actually get planning permission to change use of a, a commercial unit from, for example, a retail to a restaurant. But right now, you can just do it within the use class order changes. Hope I'm making sense there. You might need to watch this video back again. And of course, I'll be sharing many more videos uh, on these specific subjects. So just, uh, you know, just stay tuned with us, right? So massive, massive changes. Now, why do I mention that? Well, because Michael Gove that's coming in, uh, what we're hearing on the grapevine is, he isn't really a great fan of all of this stuff. Um, and uh, we might find that there are gonna be some changes that are happening. So my assessment of this, what I'm sharing with you, is that there's a short time frame, a window of opportunity that you can actually fill your boots with all this stuff. You know, you can actually get in and scale your business using the use class order systems before things start to change. And uh, you know, uh, uh, the, the new, uh, housing minister that's come in uh, may be making some further changes to that um, going forward while right now you have that window of opportunity. Another opportunity that's here right now is 
the actual permitted development changes that are happening. So just for clarity, permitted development, uh, where you can actually repurpose your property, you don't need to get any planning. You can just do it within the permitted development rights. And in fact, right now, there are five specific permitted development rights that we are using at Premier and you can be using to actually monetize and really create a legacy for yourselves, you know, to actually do this right now. It's, it's, a, it's available for you. Now, uh, let's keep the conversation honest. Um, you might watch some of my videos from, from before. If you haven't, feel free to check our channel and have a look at some of the videos that I've actually done. Um, and, you know, the, having this conversation last year, there was actually 11, 11 specific permitted development rights you can use. So, um, as well as say, there's a short window of opportunity where the doors are still open, but they are being closed shut. So, my suggestion is grab them while you can right now. At Premier, we've got five specific PD rights that you can use um, to really benefit you as an investor and, you know, jumping into development as well. And the final one that I want to share with you is all about development. So right now, uh, Boris Johnson is very proactive, whatever you think of him, you know, he's, he's very proactive when it comes to uh, building. So the, I would urge you, if you haven't already, to have a look at the white paper. The white paper and uh, Boris Johnson saying build, build, build. He's made the development side of things, you know, so exciting for developers where you can jump in and he's really loosened those, uh, you know, the, the actual whole uh, red tape um, uh, for, for, uh, for central government, you know, they're, they're making it so easy for people to actually develop. So, you know, things to be thinking about, you know, jumping into development, getting it right first time, obviously you learn how to do it first, of course, and, you know, all of these are massive opportunities, you know, while you still got them. Michael Gove has come in and uh, we do not know what he's going to be bringing to the table. We do not know what doors he's going to be closing. And uh, the key message, of course, from this breaking news is that there is a big reshuffle, new housing minister, change is happening right now. Grab the opportunity while you can and uh, I will see you soon. My name is Cameron Devady, helping you to take your property investing to the next level.